everybody, and welcome to another episode of World of Horror. In the previous episode, we unlocked the History Club. We defeated all the new backstories. For this episode, I think I'm going to try to unlock a new character. I'm 99% sure, at least if my information is accurate, I'll be getting them. So, without further ado, I will see you there. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new, unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the Dooms Town. Uh, I don't think it actually matters what we go for, because I'm just trying to unlock someone. I guess I'll do uh, Miku again, so why not? And, uh, I'm gonna do the Ill-Fated. So maybe I can get a two-for-one special. Uh, I don't think the timeline matters. Probably should have done an easier difficulty. It is what it is. Uh, the Old God doesn't matter either. I'll, I guess I'll just do the Towering Eye. Missing Stars. Alright, let's see. So you start with the extra level. I'm gonna try to get Outdoorsman. Yeah. And I guess... Strength? So... Okay, the school? Yeah, History Club. It is what I wanted. I don't think I ever saw her custom item, so I might as well get that as well. Right now we go to the TV. Just so we can unlock the other character, which I'll explain if it happens. There we go. Uh, if I end up getting her. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, Bathola, warm water, probably should have ah, got the empty bottle, whatever. And the money figurine, there we go. Uh, just need a normal history, or mystery. I guess I'll do house hotel. Alright, first things first. Well, first thing really first, I might as well get a non-shitty weapon. Yeah, monkey wrench. Good enough. So I'm gonna look for sweater event. I'll give it like 10 tries, maybe. Okay. Plus 2% doom. RIP. The reason I picked Miku is because I might be doom max in a little bit. Luck check, failure, plus 5% doom. Rip. Chaos rises, all stats improved. Okay, minus one reason. Do you have a moment to speak about our product? I do not. I have a pretty decent chance to hit. I guess because the power is so low early on. Um, can't do two big attacks. How long does it take to prep? I mean, uh, brace? 112. Looks like I'm tanking some damage. Dream Salesman attacks me. I think I can probably reliably do... 
9 damage. Ah, oh, I should have friggin' right clicked there. So I'm gonna go for one. One suck. There we go. Dream Salesman is dead. Really awful fight. Come on. Sweater me. Sweater me. <gasps> you recognize that sweater. It belongs to that girl who went missing. As you crouch down to inspect it, you hear a faint rustling of leaves. Behind you stands Moriko, the missing girl with the old shotgun aimed at you. You raise your hands and explain who you are. She nods and helps you get up. It seems like you're not the only one trying to save this town. Alright, so that's Moriko unlocked. Now let's go for the secret ending. The air here is noticeably colder. Okay, why would this popular student join this weird club? The history of this region is just fascinating. Why don't you discover it yourself? Oh, it's just Doom? Okay. I think you can... Basically, you just have to visit the History Club a bunch. Might as well. The Seal of Bramel. I think five times. I could be wrong. Okay. Eh, might as well. I get a stamina. When you enter the room, someone hits you in the head. When you wake up, you realize you're on the floor naked. Sitting on top of you is the History Club president. We don't accept new members now, she says, raising a ritual dagger. But you will help us, in one way or another. You've perished, stabbed to death. R.I.P. Spent too much time in the History Club. I'll continue with this background. Now we should have a couple new characters. Alright, come on. Moshi Moshi. Yep, Moshi Moshi. There's Toshiaki Wakamatsu. When Toshiaki discovered the club's sinister intention, he flew, stealing their most prized possession. This cursed book will either save or doom our entire world. And then there's Moriko Ishii. Ignoring her father's warnings, she decided to hunt the monster killing the animals to protect this forest. And, unknowingly, save the world. She starts with a shotgun? That's wacky. Well, for today we're gonna be working with Moshi Moshi Man. Um... It's a lot of interesting backstories. Definitely Cure's Birthmark is not one I want to go for. Could go with Scars. I heard he's pretty good at combat. Oh, I was gonna see... <laughs> I was gonna see Miku's item. Rip. I heard he's got a pretty good item. So I don't think I need Scars necessarily. I guess I'll uh, do Hunted by the Colt since I haven't gotten all of them yet. I'll do timeline A, which I think will be nice. Um, hmm, I'll go with though too. Alexandria, 48 BC, the supposed cause of the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. A perfect black marble statue has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. Cool. Also, running from the coal is fitting for him. Alright, the Necronomicon you've stolen contains powerful spells and horrible secrets. To activate its power, you retrieve more pages when you level up. So, Aura of Azalahoth. The cult can't get this cursed book back. Completing a mystery lowers doom by 10%? Are you serious? Holy shit. Man, I could rest so much, this dude. 
He does start with absolutely god-awful stats. I guess like perception is his highest. I could maybe go for a flashlight or something, his weapon. But I feel like, um, at least when I played with the heavy duty flashlight previously, it didn't seem to lower its time with your stats. I feel like it'd be out of character for him to go to the history club, because I'm pretty sure that's the cult he escaped from. So I'll just have the library. Alright. Legal den. Someone's crammed your mailbox full of entrails. They know. Okay, I got empty bottle as well. Really awesome. Let's see, he's only got the two outfits. Cult of the corn. Uh, I might as well do his normal outfit. Uh, for his first run. <laughs> Why is he giving me the puppy dog eyes? <laughs> Alright, let's take the bathola. Charge the bottle. It's very good. Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, coma, eels, mermaids, household hell, beckoning bulletin. As good of a good of a set of mysteries as any. I could maybe try to go for the A ending of Household Hell. Though it does feel wacky to like betray your allies and fucking sacrifice them. Uh, you know what? I will go for it. So that's what I'll go for first. Uh, I would go for the eels one first, but I want to get like a shitty ally and sacrifice them. So don't want to risk. I think it's like a random ally, so I might as well do this first. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Oh, oh, oh! Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? Alright. Friends you talked with are not sure where the mansion is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library might shed some light on it. Oh, a flashlight is definitely needed. I was kind of hoping for the heavy duty flashlight as a weapon. So maybe I should just go for the map. I'm gonna have plenty of doom. This is the only decent weapon or uh, item, so I might as well. Uh, I could go again and try to get the compass, because he really needs level up super bad. Oh, and I might as well get the... You rummage through your belongings, trying to find anything that will help you. You finally pick up Bookstrap. Hopefully it'll be enough. Alright, is that a C item? It is a C item. Faster combat actions for each book item in the inventory. Made of leather. Oh, cool. So having another book would be awesome. Yeah, I guess I'll just go to the hardware shop then. Yep, there's the heavy duty flashlight. It's a knowledge weapon, not a perception weapon. Whatever. <laughs> there we go. We've got our John Woo flashlights. I know I'm doom maxing super hard. Alright. Okay. Latest gossip. Come on. I, I wonder if it's a uh, charisma check. Or if it's just random. Alright, come on. You've got to be kidding me. You can give me some allies. Okay, this... Ugh. Why is everyone not joining me? Uh, 
Oh my god. I feel like I can't Doom Max anymore. I mean, I'm gonna be losing 50% Doom from my shit. I'll give it one more go. This sucks, though. Okay. They look fine. Everyone just looks fine. <laughs> no one wants to join me. Okay, fine. I don't need to sacrifice you. Oh, this sucks. I'm at 27% doom and I haven't even started. This sucks. RIP. It probably is a charisma check. Okay. Minus two recent Ola. I'll try talking with them. They throw me out. Investigating the seaside again, just for the... Uh, thing. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is the book strap, but this isn't that bad. So this is a fish person, so they're weak to bludgeoning. Um, I could probably brace. No, that takes 120 time. I could dodge, but dodge never works for me. Oh, by the way, apparently you can save combat sequences. So, I'll do that. There we go. Are these book items? Are these just like nothing items? Okay, might as well drink the bath water. Should I give it one more go? Try to get allies? <laughs> I might as well. One more. Okay. Fuck me. I guess it must be related to Charisma, because I've never had this bad of luck with it. Either Charisma or Luck. Maybe it's Lux also. No! Oh wait, there's item storage. Okay, I got tiny cuts. More annoying than anything. This is definitely a book. Uh, let's see. This doesn't have the Hertz thing, so I'll put that away. And I'm just gonna keep this in my inventory to speed up my combat actions. Hopefully this is the study. <laughs> oh no, he's got the cursed face now. Okay, it's the dolls. Wow, that... The book straps I'm actually extremely potent. Alright, this is my new combat sequence. Bash the puppet matron. Alright, there we go. She starts climbing me. I destroy her with the monkey wrench. No, with the heavy duty flashlight. 41% doom. <laughs> I can't doom max anymore. A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you and screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you are the target of the supernatural tank. Pursue the woman. Dex check failure. Yep. R.I.P. Alright, make your way down. Unfortunately, got nobody's sacrifice. They've cucked me. So I'll just get the B ending or whatever. Unholy chance coming from the caves, connected with the mansion, must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had themselves. However, this does not explain the fresh corpses and wet tracks around the altar. Ending C. Okay, lighthouse longer, no big deal. 
take the bath Ola, refill the bottle, refill the reason. No longer cursed, the sparkles are in his eyeballs. I guess I'll do the eels one next. <laughs> I should've just sacrificed Kana. R.I.P. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? I'll investigate the seaside once. Okay. <laughs> I'll decline. Something is definitely wrong with men. Their perpetual squints and calloused hands scare you. You scream apologies as you run from the boat and it's weird crew, minus two stamina. <laughs> Dude, when you fail helping them, it just they just have nasty fish that dump on you. That's so... <laughs> it's just running away from like ugly dudes, basically. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright. I suck my reason. R.I.P. I'll rest once. The sparkles have returned. Uh, might as well leave it for later. Minus t <laughs> I leave the computer. It stabs me in the back and sucks stamina from me. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Uh, I'm not gonna go for something evil. You can... <laughs> I'm not sucking my XP for him either. I've seen him burning some notes back in the apartment building. We should go get him. Oh no, it's the twisted corpse Ola. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see, I'd be dealing four damage. I'll try for the clap bow Ola. I could probably uh, meditate to equalize my stats. I can't brace. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so I got three ritual moves right. Um, hmm. Okay, if I go bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. And I get three right. What would that mean? Oh, I think this is the ideal. I got one move right. Okay, so then it's clap, 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 bow, bow. Okay. What the hell? So, okay, so clap, 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 clap. There's three claps. When I went bow, bow, clap, 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 I got one move right. Somehow. So it can't be clap, bow, clap, bow, clap, because I would have gotten two moves right. Maybe it's clap, maybe it's bow, bow. There's three claps. What the hell? Okay, hold on. So only one is right when it's bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. There are three claps, so the first two must be claps. But I did clap, 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 bow, bow, and I got three moves right. How's this even possible? Okay, holy hell. I'm gonna have to cut some of this out just so I can think for longer. So clap, 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 clap. Five claps, there are three claps. Bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. One move right. But then I did clap, 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 bow, bow. And I got three moves right. So is it... But it can't be five claps. 
there has to be two bows and three claps. So how would I get three moves right if I go clap, 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 bow, bow, and bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. I mean, I think the middle one has to be a clap, right? Maybe it's like clap, bow, clap, bow, clap. Would that even make sense? Let's see, clap, bow, clap, bow, clap. I would have gotten two moves right. Maybe it's clap, clap, bow, bow, clap. And that's why I got one move right? Yeah, I think that's it. No, it's not it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I'm just running. <laughs> Fuck this. Okay, not worth. Absolutely not worth. Never worth. I should have just smacked him. <laughs> That's... Oh, what the hell? I have to rest so much. I'm gonna fucking lose to Doom. This sucks. What the hell? Okay, I'll read the later the letters. Minus two funds. I want Jarman to come. Just fucking <laughs> slit my throat. <laughs> um, I guess I could ignore it. I mean, taking it home is probably a bad idea. Oh, strength check failure. Minus one charisma. Yep, I don't need any stats. Just bring them all to zero. For Thoth, Flash, lower Doom by three, cost 15 XP. That sounds like dog shit. I wonder if we have to get the pages in order. Uh, I mean, I might as well grab it. I'll upgrade my knowledge. <gasps> oh, you don't have enough experience. <laughs> oh man. RIP. I somehow doubt that you have to get it all in order, but you know what I mean. Might as well. Okay, your friend's gone. Guess I'll search for a weapon. Minus two reason. Okay, Kana's been missing since yesterday. Where the hell is Kana? I'm gonna suck even more reason for if I save her. Whatever. It's worth. Who needs reason? Who needs any stats? <laughs> Just suck them all away. I don't care. Shocked, you see countless tiny eels coming out of your friend's eye in all directions. We can't even survive the blood loss. You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend Kana wearing an eye patch. So I'm just looking. One reason. He's going nuts. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anymore. But thanks for saving my life. You still process the events of the previous nights, corpse-eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Eerie episode evolving eels, episode A. Fetid fumes, that actually is horrible. All right, I'll drink the bath water just so I can min-max as much as possible. I'm up to three reason. All you need is one reason. Uh, I guess I'll do the mermaids one. I know my stats are really dog shit, but I can lose a lot of stamina and be fine. Macabre memoir of Mormid mermaids. 
The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as the materials. It's one thing everyone at school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? Alright, there's glued corpse. Nasty man. Alright, first things first, I need to brace. Um, I have an 87% chance to hit. I'm going to do a light attack because I want to fucking... Actually, I think I might even... I don't want to dig too deep with this, but I think like... Three meditates. Maybe two meditates and a swing. Maybe two meditates, a prep, and a swing. Yeah, there we go. If I miss, so be it. The glued corpse bites you in the hand. So I don't think I can do 17 damage unless I just do this. But that would require three 80% chances to hit, which I think would be foolhardy. Uh, I could... I'll do this. Brace prep, strong attack. Smack the doom, the glued corpse. Okay, can I? I might meditate some more with whatever time I have left here. Regain one reason, cost you stamina. Ah, fuck, I think I have to do that first. Otherwise it won't go. There we go. It's 5 damage piece, it's 10, yep. Glued corpse is destroyed, my stats are equalized, I can drink the water, removing the cuts. Uh, I need to investigate Seaside twice. Um, I think this is one of those mysteries where I investigate the Seaside- <sighs> Okay, <laughs> just suck me, suck all my reason, I don't care. I want to at least have three reasons so I'm not like totally vulnerable. Because usually events suck two reason. I'll lift the heaviest box. Plus three reason, minus one stamina. Father Yasugi? Question mark? I can't believe I forgot his name. He's so awesome. Listens to my worries. All the missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Alright, it's the Forgotten Specimen. I'm pretty sure it's weak to bludgeoning. But still... I'd have to hit three light attacks. But you know what? I'll try to send it. There's no reason for me to brace anyways. Ah, oh, I missed one. R.I.P. Wait, what's that? It's a chicken nugget. Delicious. Alright, go here. I see the fish heads. Minus one stamina and reason. Which is what it is. Whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed with mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find a plan of the town's sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading directly to the school building from the sea. Alright, um, guess I'll take a nap, plus one stamina and reason, plus two doom. Uh, you know what, just in case I'll go to the seaside once more. I'll search the body. They pinch my fingers. And I lose even more reason. Uh, if I... The lump of flesh gets the holes thing, so I don't want to... I mean, I might as well have it in my inventory. I'll rest once. Plus one stamina and reason, which actually is dog shit. There's something wrong here. A weird apathy is infecting all the adults. We must do shit. Oh no. The thief stole my empty wallet. The school basement. That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. Um... 
should I rest once more? I'm really doom maxing. It's only going to give me 1-1. One, one. Still, I think it's worth it. It pulls empty at this hour. I also turn on the lights. Plus one reason. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's alright. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, the upper part at least. A tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad jander say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Alright. So I have a 75% chance to hit. Um, I could do an 85% chance with a strong attack. I can't do two weak attacks. I mean, this is like the safe, easy one. How much damage could I do if I just... Okay, I could do... I'm pretty sure it's weak to bludgeoning, so 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 14 is 28. Um, let's see. And if I brace and just weak attack, that's 6 damage. So, this is a little better, I think, mathematically speaking. Unless he does the super axe blow. Yeah, he raises his axe, so I need to brace. Alright, he swings down on you, doing massive damage. He swings his axe menacingly. Okay, I might be able to... Alright, I'm going to do the gamble sequence. Yep, there we go. So this is going to be two turns if I didn't. Mad Janner's body slumps to the floor. You pick up his axe, and using it as a crutch, you try and leave the room. Injured and weakens, you slowly lose consciousness in the school corridor. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the Mad Janner is found, but you'll sweep a little better tonight, knowing the other students are safe. Macabre Memoir of Mormid Mermaids, ending A. So gotta level up. Okay, cut off from the outside world. Does not matter, I've already gotten Moriko. Fruity's Kill. Defeat the current enemy, cost 15 doom. I think I'm gonna go for the stats this time, because I'm too doom maxed. If I wasn't Doom Max, that would be actually awesome. I think I'll continue to juice my knowledge. <laughs> Man, he just beat the hell up. <laughs> Alright, um... Reason has been my problem so far. Oh, water bottle first. Yep. Also, I've got the bottle. There we go. Nine out of nine. All right, uh, I'm gonna do the bulletin. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anyone can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you can connect, you can read all of the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things are not all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the deaths? How can so many people all be driven to take their own lives. <laughs> I butchered the last paragraph. It is what it is. Even if the ruled, rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work. But 
first. We go to the forest. Alright, I'll try tapping into the power. It's a knowledge check. Plus doom. R.I.P. Oh my god, it's another one of these dudes. Let's have a 92% chance to hit. He's doing three reason damage. I can't do two small attacks, so I might as well just do a guaranteed big attack. Dream Salesman attacks me. I probably should save the sequence, save a little bit of time. Boom. It's been destroyed. I think I might need stuff in my inventory, so I'll put this away. Just listen to the voice of humanity. Lose one reason because I have no Ikumi. All school's library computer doesn't have a modem. You happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arranged to meet at her home in the city. I get lost. More doom. <laughs> Take a sip. Is it blood? You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on nearby towns. You have to act quickly. But first, a little nappy nap. So I don't want my stats to be too low. I wonder if the kill works on something evil. Probably doesn't work on bosses, though. It's the Gossip Junkie. Nice to see you again, Gossip Junkie. 100% chance to hit. Okay, so I could do 17 damage. No. There we go. Oh, I could do 20 damage. Alright, hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital's in chaos, the staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. Oh! Minus three reason. Just suck all my reason. R.I.P. <laughs> you overhear that there's a girl in the village outskirts who failed in her attempt. Uh, calling the police is charisma. I guess I'll ask the waiter. Before pursuing the man, you ask the waiter if they know him. The waiter smiles and explains that that man is part of a tabletop role-playing community. You thank him, slightly embarrassed? That's just a freebie? Holy shit. That's awesome. Maybe there's like a hidden luck... It didn't say there's a luck roll, and they usually say if there's a luck roll. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students left in front of a train, hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching the village streets. I hope I get a fight so I can just meditate. I'd be really doom maxing if I say yes. But, I mean, I'm going to lose 20% doom from my Super Necronomicon bonus. In addition to, like, 6% doom, I think it's fine. Plus two allies. We got Masafumi, <laughs> Ghost Hunter, and Uchida. XP bonus for assessing the situation during combat. Heavy breathing. Otaku creep. Uh oh, we got some... I mean, I could see these guys hanging. Wait, did I lose reason too? Oh, 
Okay. Well. Covering girl is more than happy to not only confirm Bolton's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow pain meds. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Okay, don't suck my reason. Please. Okay, I'll follow the tradition. I don't care if I lose stamina. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number into the handset and, and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. And the screen flickers on. Welcome home. Do you like it? Yes. Giga Chad. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all of humanity together. Uh, you can't save everyone. Explain the imminent arrival of the old god with its limitations. The Bolton could never hope to gather humanity in time, not to mention how many people are un unable to access a computer. As it is, convincing all of humanity to die is impossible. Oh, then we'll have to wait. It's disappointing, but that's alright. When computers advance and everyone can be connected, we'll come back for you. It's a promise, okay? The noise on the other end of the line suddenly cuts out completely, still reeling from the mental assault. You find yourself staggering towards the futon. You collapse into it and sleep soon takes you. You're awakened by the sound of the phone ringing. After what just happened, you hesitate to answer. You warily grab at the handset. When you put the phone to your ear, you hear the trembling voice of the girl you met in the village. I can't thank you enough. It was in my head, and I, I nearly... She bursts into tears, thanking you over and over. You smile, relieved. You later learn that the suicides have come to a sudden and complete halt. But even still, its promise lingers in your mind. How long do you have to wait until it comes back to you? You smother the thought, for now it's finished. Ending A of the bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. We've lost much doom. Time skip. That sucks. It's plus 5% doom. <laughs> Not good. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. Oh, it's Sheeb Surge. Plus one to all stats until the end of this mystery. Cost five doom. Okay, so in theory you could be using that a couple times. I wonder if there's any bonus you get for getting all of the Necronomicon things. Well, that's not going to happen in this playthrough for sure. Um, hmm. I don't know if... I, I guess I'll get art knowledge. I mean, Outdoorsman's okay, but... And perception isn't really necessary in the lighthouse, but I don't want to re-roll the perks. I mean, maybe Seab Surge would be good for the lighthouse, but here's the thing. I don't think I have the Doom to spare to be fucking around with that, especially since... Okay, I mean, it costs 5 Doom, and if I rest, I could just tank. Like, I'm going to be losing probably 9 Stamina and 6 Reason, which is a fuck ton. No amount of surging is going to prevent the charisma. Actually, it'd only be three reason. Still, I think the knowledge is better. I do not have the doom to spare, because I was fucking around too much at the start. It's my mistake. It's a good thing uh, it didn't do the water thing. Right, curious case of contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how did the strange illness start? Alright, visit the village twice to complete the side quest. <laughs> I need to meditate. Oh, it's convenient. 
Alright, cost two stamina, regain one reason. I'll just do it once. And you get XP bonus for eyeballing, so I might as well see how much XP. 95% chance to hit. Alright, let's see, I'm on 49 XP. Okay, Uchida stammers some facts about your enemy, plus 7 XP. That's pretty good. Monster female, weak against fire. She drowned in the bathtub and then continued her training, moving through the pipes. I think I can just kill her now. Yep. Very good. That's a really reasonable... That's like 60% of the XP I got from the fight itself. That is actually really good. Alright, I don't think this quest naturally takes me to village. I'll lose the stamina. <laughs> I roll down the hill. Alright, it's a lantern. The human lantern. God. <laughs> okay, I do extra damage to him because... Wait! What the hell? Shouldn't it say five? I was doing four earlier. Okay, he's doing two all damage. If I do eight damage, then that means in three rounds I'll get him. I can't brace. <laughs> I can meditate once, then I'll have... Okay, if I... let's say that it just isn't saying I'm doing the extra damage, and I'll do five. If I brace, then I'll only take one to each damage, but I'll still need 15. I think that might be worth still, though. I could also try clap bow sequence, but I don't have enough space. All right, let's see. No, I just do four. What the hell is this dude? Not him. Masafumi, what the hell? Send against enemy? <laughs> you can send your ally to fucking get killed? That's funny. Maybe that's what it means? Could I send a cheetah? Yeah, apparently. I mean, he's not doing anything. Let's see what happens. Ally, Masafumi, attack the human lantern to protect you. That attack dealt two damage. Is he just dead now? <laughs> Dude, you suck, Masafumi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it still does four. Okay. Uh, can I eyeball him at least? Yep. Alright, all ancient buildings hire, hide their morbid secrets. He's weak to fire. It's ghost mail. I get sucked super bad. It is what it is. Uh, maybe I should have tried to figure out the sequence. Alright, so the Deuterino hands me the dust of seeing. Okay. Um, I think I should take the reason. But this is gonna cost me friggin' so much. It's gonna cost me like three stamina if I don't get my knowledge now. I think I'm gonna do that. Alright, what can I put? I don't need the note anymore. Get this dust of seeing. I'm gonna rest. This is real dog shit, I know. <laughs> Man. Oh, he's just dead. Sorry, but is the bus still running? I'm so late for a meeting. The boss is gonna kill me. 
I have a 112% chance to hit this duder. He's doing minus two all. Can I eyeball? Yes. I'm gonna be doing seven damage. 22 minus seven. It's 15, so I'll kill him next round. All right, weak against sharp, undead male. Attaching itself to a company, it will continue to slowly drain it. That's hilarious. He's stealing all the pens. He slaps me. Minus one reason stamina. I wonder if the pharmacy has any items that restore reason. That probably would help. Alright, branded like cattle. I think... I'll survive. I think it's two reason. It might be three reason. Loss. Oh no, it's the doll nurse who is absolutely tanky as all hell. I'll meditate some more, why not? I could maybe run, but I'm at 88% doom. The doll nurse grabs you while screaming. Uh, I guess I'll eyeball again. Alright, weak against fire. Blind won't attack unless provoked. Okay, that's interesting. So I guess if I do nothing, listen to the rambling, gain one spell or gain experience. I don't think she's a ghost. You know what? I'm gonna experiment. Why not? Actually, I probably already provoked her. No, I think it's better just to kill her. That's a next time thing, though, for sure, though. Alright, 88% doom. I don't think I can rest anymore. Ooh. I'll take her home, because that's stamina loss instead of reason loss. Man dabbled in magic, you found a journal describing a certain village and instructions for summoning ritual. It seems you tried to contact a being from the dream realms. Okay. Minus one stamina. Who needs stamina? Who needs reason? Alright, I'll set the trash can on fire. Hospital threat level plus one. Uh, I obviously cannot fight the one dude, even with my, like, going Super Saiyan. So I'm just gonna have to tank the reason loss. Minus three reason. So I have eight knowledge. I only can get any stat up. So I'll just <laughs> regain the reason. And I guess get, uh... Plus knowledge. Yeah, I'm fine. Shaken, you sneak out from the hospital. One thing is certain, though, with no sick people, it's the end of the weird illness. School curfew, that's fine. Can't get to the school. Take the key. It's a good thing I can take one more bath, at least. Fill the bottle. So, I'm only gonna lose reason to what's-her-face, because I have the flashlight. So all I really need is stamina. All right, the lighthouse. Okay, let's do some brainstorming real quick. So there's a strength check, which I would fail. It's minus three stamina. A dex check, which I would fail. That's also minus three stamina. Knowledge check, I would succeed. I think I need to rest three times. It just absolutely sucks, but... 
I think at most I can lose 6 stamina. Alright, plus 10 XP. And there's no way I was going to get a level. Select the enemy you fought as the second one. I think it's the Puppet Matron. I I think I fought the Koi one first. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm really tight on Doom. Alright, the mystery is the Eels one, because I went to House Will Tell first, because I was hoping to sacrifice someone. My hand gets cut on the knives. Climb up the staircase. You're stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. Oh, I should have friggin... Traded out the dust for something else. Rip. It's Takashi San, the ultimate opportunist. So I think he's weak to bludgeoning. So 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24. I could be wrong. I'll throw the bottle at him just in case he's. Minus 4 HP. I don't think I can throw the dust of seeing at him. I'll just like snort this later, I guess. Can't use an Economicon. I'll launch the sequence. Hold up. Uh, 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18 plus 8. Or let's say he's not weak. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. Yeah, this will get him no matter what. Nice try, Takashi San. Light your way. Plus 10 XP. Looks like I was being too cautious with the Doom. I had 10% to spare. Thank you, Necronomicon. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? <laughs> Kick the tablet. Though if I failed the two things, I would have been at 99%, which would have been very close. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you're relieved and collapse on the floor. He doesn't get his own picture. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You have managed to stop the ritual awakening of the Eldritch Old God, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you're safe for now. Alright. I didn't unlock any new achievements. Apparently there's no achievement for winning with him. R.I.P. Still, we saw six new events. It says encounter 13 new enemies. There's no friggin' way. So I guess it's just encounter 13 enemies. And that's like bugged or something. Ooh, that was really close. It was close because I was fucking around. So for sure, if I if I had just like tanked the sea ending or whatever in the household hell to begin with, or just sacrificed Kana, then I would have been much better off. But it is what it is. I didn't realize the schoolyard was that unreliable. It, it's got to be linked to charisma or something. Uh, well, I won anyways, though, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> with that, at least. There's a lot of leeway to mess around on the normal difficulty. I feel like the hard difficulty is probably still pretty hard, though. I definitely would have lost super hard on that one. I enjoy this new character. It's kind of interesting having the Necronomicon and its weird effects. I bet you could go for like an interesting Necronomicon only perk. Uh, go. Uh, run. I like the bookstrap. It feels very necessary. The bookstrap feels kind of like it should just be like a level up item, but they didn't want to have like more than five custom level ups for him. Which is what it is. It's no big deal to do the prepare uh, because he, the minus 10% doom thing is really powerful. I wonder if you always start with that. Yeah, who knows? In any case, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time for more World of Horror. Goodbye!